In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 5 from experience 7. Engineers must consider the breadth of male heads when designing helmets. The company researchers have determined that the population of potential clientele have head breadths that are normally distributed, with a mean of 7 inches and a standard deviation of 0.8 inches. Due to financial constraints, the helmets will be designed to fit all men except those with the head breadths that are in the smallest 3% or largest 3%. So with our normal distribution, we can label the mean, if you like. It's going to be 7 inches. And we'd like to get the middle 94%. Right? We want to cut off at the top, right? and we want to cut off at the bottom. And we want these each to be 3%. Right? We're going to lose that business. Because if we made those helmets that small and that large, uh, nobody would really be buying them, right? There's not enough people there, and so they don't sell enough of those to really make it worth worthwhile to make them. Okay, so that of course leaves the middle 94 percent, right? Six percent in the tails. And you know these numbers: the one on the right is bigger than seven, and the one on the left is less than seven. So, uh, and they should also be the same distance away because of the symmetry. So we can actually use the picture a little bit to help. Now, most of the calculator and technology functions are going to want to know area to the left. All right, well, that's great for this one, right? Because it's going to, you know, the area to the left is 0.03. Now, what's the area to the left of the other one? Right? Well, the area to the right is 0.03, so the area to the left of that one is 0.97. Three percent to the right, ninety-seven percent to the left. Okay, so we're going to use that to find the larger of the two. Right, so let's do this spreadsheet. We do uh, norm inverse, and we'll put in three percent first, and the mean is seven, and the standard deviation is 0.8. Right, there's the smallest head size we're going to use. And you want one decimal place, so we'll do 5.5. And we just change this to a 97. See that? It's 8.5. And, and notice that that follows the symmetry that we were talking about earlier. Right? So this is 8.5, and this is 5.5. And the distance is 1.5 on either side, right? So you have to have that symmetry. Okay. We can do this on the graphing calculator as well. You hit second vars to go to the distribution menu and do inverse norm. Tell it first the area to the left, so 3%, and then the mean, 7 and the standard deviation is 0.8. And you can just hit second enter and bring that back and change that area to 9.97. 